All right, guys, I'm uh, bringing you this live video here at Blue Skies Drone Rental. Blue Skies Drones down in Centralia, Washington. Uh, I'm going to show you a couple of new things. I'm going to walk in front of the camera, wait for a few people to actually join us here. Uh, I got a couple of new things to show you. One is we have our new demo tank so that we can run our ROVs here in the shop. And then right here in front of me is the brand new V6 Expert by QIC. Uh, pretty sure Curtis Dart's uh, been showing this off some, but I thought I would, uh, uh, not necessarily this one, but the QIC brand. This is a V6 Expert, so this has got a few different things. First off, I'll tell you what, this thing is massive, as you can tell right here. Let's see, it's uh, 23 kilograms, so uh, what is that? about 50 pounds or so. Um, but I'm gonna do a little unboxing since we got this thing here. I know, I don't know if it's cliche to do an unboxing video or something or not. This is the, the package is the V6 Expert. It's the M200 version. So that means it's got a 200 meter. Um, it also has the the, the hard case that comes with it. Um, there's uh, one that's less, comes in an EPP foam case, and then there's one, two more that are higher in terms of the amounts here. So, of course, I pull this in, in upside down. This is the standard uh, V6S case, so it's the one that comes with the, the arm um, positioning. Uh, I don't know that I can really get too much here. I wasn't thinking through the process as far as how I open this up. So we got a uh, quick start guide. Nice little uh, softy. There is a, a, a place for the arm here. Um, this takes the same arm as the V6 Plus, so it doesn't take the same one as the V6S uh, grabber. It uh, looks like we got a uh, baggie with some extra O-rings, uh, some sort of little metal fee fish uh, Thing. Not exactly sure what this is, but I'll show you that. Not sure what that's for. And uh, of course, you got your new V6 that's in this like uh, kind of nice, uh, shiny, silvery gray finish. It's got the port for the arm on the bottom, port in the back. It's also got a uh, SD card right here so you can get it all the information out from right here, which is super nice because uh, it's a little bit of a pain to transfer stuff on the other ones right now. This is actually a different foam inside on this case, so I actually like this a little bit better. This is a little bit more rigid foam um, than what the other stuff have been kind of a Mm, harder foam, uh, cut kind of like uh, some of the other, mm, I don't know, different foam. This is more like a styrofoam though. Got an AC charger there for the remote, the, the charger for the drone right here. You have a uh, same remote as we are always using on the V6. You got uh, a couple of spare props, probably one in every in both directions. AC cord for the US. You got your goggles right here, which are takes your phone, goes inside here. Um, if you want to use the head tracking, you put your goggle, your phone in there, and then you can move your head around and the drone moves with that. And then you have the 200 meter spool right here. Um, mechanical spool that reels up. Um, 
Again, you can get this with the onshore power supply as well, which is the V, the MP 200 uh, for onshore. This will work with the onshore. Um, again, need to get an arm for this as well. And uh, we'll get this in the water at some point here soon. Let's see, you got, hey Curtis, how you doing? Um, yeah, I got it before you, uh-huh. You'll get here soon enough, I know. But this is the first one that I know of uh, around here. Uh, it does have brighter lights too. This is, I believe, uh, 6K lights instead of 4K in terms of the, or 4,000 lumens, 6,000 lumens instead. Um, a lot of the body looks very similar, except for the color, of course which is cool. Serial numbers are in, embossed right on the bottom. I guess they're silk, uh, silk printed or whatever. So you can kind of see. But uh, anyways, we'll get this guy charged up so we can get this in the water and have a little bit of fun. Uh, manual is, uh, I think better than the last one that they had sent, which was like really small and just a quick start guide. This is also the quick start guide. Uh, cool thing about this too is you got all kinds of accessories here that you can get. pH sensors, extra cameras, uh, underwater positioning. You got 2D sonar. I'll tell you what though, that ain't cheap. Um, the water sampler. There was uh, actually the one that I was thinking of was uh, probably going to be a cool one. It's kind of like a robotic arm, but it's the mud sampler. It's more like a shovel with a lid on it, so you can do a scoop and um, scoop stuff in it. Again, this flies just like a drone in the water when you have the lock mode on. It's really nice. You can tilt it down, have it in lock position, press forward on the right stick, and it just goes across the bottom of the water. It's really nice. Well, 5.5 5. 5 millimeters. Um, I think it's the same thing to hold it in position. Oh, I see that uh, key, this is a key. A metal piece I showed you earlier on the bottom, if I look at the sticker on here, it's what you use to open and close this thing up to get, to get the SD card out. So they want to make sure that, you know, you, you get a good watertight seal on this thing because uh, if you don't, your drone ain't going to work anymore. Go ahead and take that off. Definitely is uh, stiff for getting that off. And you got an SD card in here. And this is a 128 gigabyte SD card. It's uh, got at least two rubber seals on here, so that's good to hear. Make sure that you don't get any kind of water in there. We'll get that put back on. And uh, I think we'll probably call that for now. And we'll... Uh, talk more about this once we get this in the water. You guys have